He is the king of horror, and that's a compliment. We're talking about Stephen King. As you know, he's brought us some of the scariest stories of all time, from Carrie to The Shining. He's spooked adults the world over. We have to sleep with our lights on, thanks to him. But now he's written, dare I say, a love story, Lisey's story. And to tell us about his change of heart, we're joined by none other than Stephen King. So good to see you. It's Guys, nice to be nice here. Nice to have you here. You have said you're very proud of this book right here. Uh -huh. And I you am. say it's one of your best, and critics are agreeing with you. The reviews have been absolutely terrific. So what is it about this I book? I have to pinch myself when I read the reviews. I'm thinking to myself, I can't believe that I'm still alive. Surely mm. I'm dead, and this is like a <laughs> eulogy. This is great. What it's is wonderful. it about it that's so special for you? I don't know. I think that it's a, a little bit of a change. Uh, Philip Roth wrote in Every Man, uh, you know, amateurs wait for inspiration. The rest of us just get up and go to work. And uh, I knew when I was writing it that it felt special. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, writing books is like batting in a baseball game. You, you get up and you try to hit the ball. Sometimes you hit singles. Sometimes you hit doubles. And with this book, when I was working on it, I'm thinking every day, I, I'm getting all of this sucker. <laughs> you're getting all, you're sending it out of the park. Yeah, getting, you knew all, about that. Getting, getting all of it. What is it about this being a love story? I cannot believe I'm sitting across from Stephen King and I'm talking mm -hmm. about a love story. This is as close to a romance novel as I think we're going to get from you. It is, but it's got a few hooks buried in it, mm -hmm. too. You mm -hmm. know? So be, it wouldn't be a, a, a book by me if it didn't. But uh, I wanted to write a, a story that had the same feeling as one of those good country songs that you hear on the radio that's got a uh, pedal steel guitar and, and tears in its throat. But it really isn't that much of a change in some ways. My idea as a writer is to assault your emotions. I, I want you as the reader to, to engage. I want you to forget about the, the thing that you're cooking. Let it burn in the pot. That's great. You know, that's what uh -huh. I want. If you forget your doctor's appointment, that's terrific. If, if you're on the airplane and there's turbulence at 30,000 feet and you don't feel it, that's a good thing. It, good is, thing. it yeah. is. It is. It is. It is that kind of page turner that you don't mm -hmm. realize. You look at your watch and you, you know, go. I'm like Uncle Sam. I want you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got us. Yeah, you got us. Great. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm great. I'm great. I feel well. Um, a few years ago when I talked about retiring, I think that I, I didn't feel so well. I know. And uh, I was at the end of the Dark Tower cycle. I felt tapped out. And uh, I talked a lot about retiring. And one thing mm -hmm. that I found out is that this isn't like a nine to five job where they hand you a gold watch. You just, the job hands you a watch at some point. But I finished the Dark Tower books, about six months went by, and uh, the muse or whatever it is is, hey, buddy, time to get back to work. So and, I did. And you felt that you had more to say. At what, I think when you were maybe thinking, oh, maybe I'm going to hang it up, that you didn't know you had another story left in you. But even surprise yourself that you did? You start not to feel good if you don't work. Uh, I don't sleep well and I get irritable and uh, I'm hanging around the house. Uh, there's a thing in Lisey's story where um, Scott Landon is a writer and L Lisey is his wife and, and she says at one point Scott was in her eye more than he used to be and when I'm not writing I'm in my wife's eyes a lot. <laughs> and, uh, when I'm working, you know, I whisk away. You whisk away. You're 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 into it. You're, yeah, you're my idea is I want to take you with me. Yeah, that, that, well, you know what? You feel that way. And yeah. I, and you mentioned Hank Williams a lot. You were mentioning country music mm -hmm. earlier. There's a lot of Hank Williams. There is, in here. and I, I would like this to feel like a good Hank song. I'd like it to feel like a country music song. One of the really good ones, you know. Uh, a real good roadhouse song, the kind that you hear at the end of the night. At the end know, of the night. Where everybody's uh, <laughs> feeling a little bit sad, a real honky-tonk mm. thing. Because you played a lot of it, didn't you? To get yeah. you, help you get through what you were, because we should say, of course, it was 99, the, the, the terrible accident, and mm -hmm. you were really banged up. And, I was. And here you are back, and it, this is just, you, you have to use your imagination I'm when you read I'm cocked and locked and ready to rock, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> You're the man, Stephen King. You're the man. It's good to see you again. It's good to be here. Continued success to you. Thank you. All right.